All right, so for those of you who are uh, swapping a K24 into your Honda Accord, you will need the K20, the RSX K20 intermediate shaft. So here, just to give you reference. So these are the two shafts. This is the one that came with the K24. So this is the K24, the Acura TSX shaft, K24 A2 shaft. So everything goes in, everything lines up perfectly. And this is the, this is them compared side by side. As you can tell, the 24 one is a lot longer. And uh, so if you want to use the passport mounts, you have to switch over to this K20 intermediate shaft. Um, at first, you might not think everything fits. This little extra bolt is just for the K20 engine, that little bolt, but everything still lines up. These, all these bolt holes are the same, but what you, what you will have to do is switch out these bolts right here, these bottom ones. So originally on this one, it goes like that. And this one with the little filler, whatever that's called, goes right here and then the top one. So you just switch these two bottom ones out and then put it like that. And this one stays the same with the top one. And then bam, they can all go in. So now, let me put this bad boy in. So now we just add the bolt on. I don't really know the torque values, but I'm just gonna torque it to how I think and enough not to break the block. So we'll just put the screws on. So, and this just stays dangling like that, no problem. Then you put this thinner one without the, the filler neck, whatever that thing's called. That's what I'm gonna call it, filler neck. So bam, let me just get my power gun. So these are 14, stock ones are 14. You just, okay, one. Two, three. So now I'm just gonna torque them to what I think. So I'm just gonna lower the power settings. If I just one ugga ugga, whatever you guys fucking call that shit. All righty. So that's the shaft. You can cut it until we go to the next scene. All right, so now we're just gonna lift it up. I already have the back bracket, the intermediate shaft on, the transmission bracket, and let's mount. Everything's all tightened up.
trying to get this fucking side in. Try to line up that bolt hole. Oh, actually, that works. You do it like that? Yeah. Mm. Do it like real hard. There we go. Nice. There it is. There it is, boys and girls. Sometimes you gotta finesse these little bolts. Oh, here's the nut for this side. And then that's it. That side's tight. Just gotta tighten up those back ones. And that's all she wrote. Well, the, oh, I tighten everything. for a reason. This one tightened, so that's why it's being all weird. So, what I'm gonna do should have tightened these black ones. All right, so I never concluded that other video or the video that I'm posting right now, uh, but this is the result after my friend helped me out. Uh, in installing the motor all the mounts and stuff this one's the trickiest I recommend I mean the way I did it is that I attached this whole mount bracket onto this uh, back end bracket on the motor itself and then I just started tightening those bolts down there um, but yeah that was the trickiest one these side ones are pretty easy everything uh, lines up looks nice um, you will have to shave down this little portion of the transmission if, uh, if you're going to use this bracket. Uh, I'm not sure why, but that's just what you got to do because it, ra it raises up in there. But, you know, it's fine. And, uh, yeah, this will conclude that this video. And uh, if you guys liked it, uh, like, subscribe, share, uh, you know, the usual. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.